Hey girl. Howdy, 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 my beautiful Aries. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Velka, and today, darling, I'm going to be getting into your weekly tarot horoscope reading, Aries, for November 2021, darling. So if you find some tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly tarot reading today, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards resonate with you and how they do, Aries, because that's how I keep up with y'all, as well as if you do enjoy this reading or you just enjoy my vibe for today, Aries. I really would appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help me out a lot, and I always appreciate it when you do. Keep in mind, I am just a person reading some tarot cards to you darling you know your situation better take the tarot cards that resonate to leave what doesn't remember it doesn't matter what you identify as aries whether it's he she they them anything inside or outside of that spectrum darling if this tarot reading is going to resonate with you i promise you it's going to resonate one way or another um so i think i just got all the bases covered honey remember that tarot readings are just here for some food for thought aries and yeah let's just jump into this uh tarot reading for you uh aries let's jump into your first uh overall vibe check energy darling though let's see just where the uh general vibes are let's do that vibe check for this week aries so the card that y'all got is the brown bear spirit number nine in numerology uh aries and this card says take time out so i feel as if this brown bear message comes in uh for you aries is where it's like <sighs> it's almost like i hear i keep on hearing i don't know if it's someone's guides or someone's you know what have you uh aries but i keep hearing this sense of where it's okay to take a break really it's okay to put a pause on something it's okay like don't it feels as if you're trying to force yourself to um do something that you don't feel quite ready for and i just it's like this message of like getting out of your head aries and just don't try to rush things is kind of the message that i get it's almost as if for some of you aries i get this sense of where um yeah it's just like this sense of rushness i don't know if there's like something that uh recently happened uh aries for you that was traumatic or just you know a lot to take in or hurtful uh for you aries or just stressful darling right <laughs> especially with 2021 honey it can be just uh, all the above honey um but it's like this sense of where you had had this happen but then you immediately went to uh try to just like uh do other things without really being present present in the moment and allowing yourself the time that you need to heal for whatever this is or just being present with your emotions Aries it does just feel as if like I'm being shown like a scenario where it's just as if like something really traumatic happened to you Aries and then your next reaction was to just like go start vacuuming instead almost as if you're using that as a distraction or if you're trying to pretend as if like what just happened didn't happen uh Aries so let's continue on you guys have the high priestess card coming in here i do have a suspicion for some of you aries you've been in your head a little bit there's something that uh i don't know like self-doubt keeps coming in here i don't know if you are stressing out aries over the fact where it's just like you feel perhaps maybe if you stop go go going everything's gonna fall apart it feels almost as if aries you just feel extremely pressured to um just keep things going because if you don't keep things going you feel as if that's gonna fall apart or maybe you yourself is gonna fall apart Heart. and you know i'm not no psychiatrist honey but don't you think that's kind of like a sign aries to uh slow down a little bit just a thought though honey uh we then have the ace of swords coming in here a lot of cards of like self-doubt and the reason why i say this is because i never like to point out when something's inverted or not i just keep it internally uh just to not confuse you aries but i do get this sense of where uh yeah it's just this message of where you're just really in your head i don't know if like it's almost as if like you had you're really gung-ho about something aries or you had a perception of how like a relationship was going to work out or even just with like your own finances darling nine of pentacles um it feels like you're questioning everything that you once knew questioning yourself questioning um some of y'all even like your belief system and like uh you know with that this nine of pentacles it's almost as if like you're some of y'all asking the question if you could even see yourself out of this if you can even make it through this um just a lot of anxious energy just a lot of energy areas about stressing about the future how what is your future going to be looking like how do you handle your future do you and you know for some of you guys i don't know if there's like a sense of like um gaslighting or maybe you're just gaslighting yourself aries but it, there is just like this message where it's just like i feel like there's just a lot of self-doubt and almost like 
I don't know. It's this weird energy. I'm not, I'm not used to tapping into something like this, Aries. Uh, we have the Two of Pentacles here. So you're left with a choice. You're juggling things. I get this sense for you, Aries, that for some of y'all um i uh, i'm gonna be honest here i do feel as if um some of you guys have been pushing yourself so much aries um in one specific path because that's all that you've known and i feel as if spirit is influencing you or your life is setting up in such a way areas of where i feel i don't know i just feel as if some of you guys are going to be drastically shifting what it is that you're doing or um you know maybe some of you guys it's giving me very much so the scenario aries of where it's just like maybe you were going to school to be like a lawyer just as an analogy um going to be school to be a lawyer and then like right before you graduate or you've been a lawyer for x amount of years and then there's like this calling where you're just like i don't know if like a lawyer is being for, is actually for me you know you're having this question be like maybe i want to be a baker maybe i want to be a writer you you know there just seems to be like this sense of like an identity crisis uh, the queen of wands here yeah this is all about your passion aries i do feel for some of you guys uh aries you guys are going to be I just feel for many of you guys, there's going to be a doorway opening up or something's going to be happening in your life, Aries, that you can't really ignore. You, there's like, you, go, you guys keep on getting repetitive signs, Aries, of what it is that you need to do and kind of like even how you need to do it almost. It's almost as if like you're being, because I'm being shown blueprints at this point in time, Aries. Um, so it's almost as if now at this point you're like being shown like where does it you need to take your future but then like again it's like this stuck on like tradition perhaps uh aries and then you have the six of swords here i do just feel for many of you guys you are just tr making a pretty big transition and perhaps this transition is part of the reason why uh things feel so impactful to you currently or just in the sense of like a lot of unsureness really that's really what it is Aries. it's like a lot of unsureness in this energy you don't really know like it feels like you guys are having a tower moment to be honest you're having a tower moment and i feel as if you're needing this tower moment in a way uh aries because this is what's going to get you in better alignment with what drives you but it's almost as if you guys are taking this aries as like a negative as like this is a bad sign or like something of the sort it's almost as if like you'll feel like you lost or like you're being a quitter with something should you choose to wash your hands clean on something and just transition on instead of being that lawyer um you move on to other things we have the ace of wands yeah i do definitely feel whether this is in terms of a relationship in your life aries or whether this is about a job or whatever your business is darling this is giving me very much so the message of where it's like you're being pushed, you're being drawn to doing other things. Something else is drawing your attraction. And it's almost as if Aries, you're asking, you're waiting for permission really to uh, go into this new direction. Um, or maybe you just are, because it's like, you're just like a habitual and tradition for you. At this point, you don't want to transition on to something else enti new entirely. Um, interesting. What else is happening for my Aries? Two of Cups. Yeah, I do definitely feel like many of you guys are transitioning on in relationships, whether this is platonic uh, or romantic. So friendships, um, romantic. Maybe you associated this connection uh, prior, Aries, to be like a soulmate connection or a twin flame, darling. It's up to you to put those categories in. Obviously, you'll know what it is that you feel. Um, but it's, it feels as if you're transitioning on from something that you initially really saw a lot in this. You saw a lot of potential. You really thought you could do something with this. And because... You you were really saw such a future with this you're now trying like life is setting up in such a way where you're kind of being forced to transition into a new direction and i feel like this is a good direction for you but for some reason there is just a sense of resistance on your side aries so very interesting here i just feel as if for many of you guys you guys are definitely aries stepping into new connections um you know because of that queen of wands this is definitely i take this as a good sign personally uh aries just because this is a sign of where it's like you're doing something that's more in alignment with you um you know something that's going to be driving you you have the queen of wands as well as the ace of wands like i mean it kind of sets it up itself you know all about that passion your energy aries and then you have the new moon in cancer you 
and your loved ones are safe, Cancer. I'm calling you Cancer now because it's the new moon in Cancer. You and your loved ones are safe, uh, Aries. So maybe it's like the sense of like the uncertainty of this all, which is understandable, Aries, if this is the case where it's like, you know, going into this new territory, you don't know what it's going to look like. You don't know how it's going to be, but you're getting the affirmation from these cards at least that where it is that you're feeling kind of called to and just how life is setting up to really split your path into a whole new direction um because many of you guys are having a tower moment aries um it's like you're just getting reassurance from the universe from these tarot cards darling that it's all going to be okay take a breath aries and just trust in the process all right so let's give these cards to miss uh barbara walters and to miss aretha franklin honey and then Aries, let's get into your spirit guide messages. Let's see uh, what messages we have uh, coming in from your spirit guides and your ancestors. Let's see what's up there. What messages do we have for my beautiful Aries in regards to their spirit guides and their ancestors? We have the King of Cups stepping forward to you with the Ten of Wands. Ooh, yeah, Aries. There's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of emotional weight uh, right now going on for you guys and this moon energy. A lot of emotional weight. It's almost, I wouldn't be surprised, Aries, if some news came forward to you recently. Um, that really, like, that's the thing. It's almost as if you received some bad news or you got, like, the omen of something being like, oh, maybe I can't avoid this. Maybe I can't move on from this. Um, and so I feel like that's, like, what's having you, yeah, king of wands. I really do, you know, the advice that you're getting from your spirit guides and ancestors, uh, Aries, is that um, you are being called to go into a new direction in your life truly and i feel as if for many of you guys you aries are gonna feel you feel as if you're gonna be a quitter if you were to move on or you would feel as if you're lesser than or something of the sort like that and i just feel as if for many of you aries like you like the reason all you're having this tower moment is because your guides and your ancestors are trying to tell you being like um to tell you that it's just like this new path whatever this is whether it's a connection in your life aries in the sense of where maybe you're going to be coming into a new connection um and transitioning on from an old committed connection that you have that you had a lot of history with or whether it's even like a job career what have you um accept this transition realize that you know obviously you thought you were going to see this for the long term but that's kind of how we go through life anyways right if you didn't see the potential in it for the long term most of us probably wouldn't have bothered with it in the first place so just accept the change in plans rather than trying to fight it um, because you do have success um, pointing in you like you have success associated with this new direction that you're transitioning on from six of wands coming in here Aries you do have success coming in here six of pentacles as well mm, let's do one more Aries and then the nine of wands here's the thing aries you're going through such a struggle period right now and i'm so sorry um i think even your last week's reading was a little bit heavy as well um and so really the message coming in for you guys is that you know while at this current point in time i see many of you guys kind of struggling to keep the faith in what it is that you're doing what it, where it is that you're trying to go aries um this new path for you actually is setting you up in a much more abundant way you aren't gonna see it right now you know i'm gonna be honest I, you ain't gonna see it you know with this nine of wands here it speaks the message aries of where yeah it's gonna be something that you have to really like push through this is the wounded warrior but six of pentacles six of wands t coming in here whatever this new path is calling to you it's like your your energy is going to be diverted into something that's a lot more bountiful for you you know foods in regards to a person someone that actually gives you that equal amount of attention that you give them um in terms of a job uh something that actually is more financially abundant for you um something that actually um pays you what it is that you are worth you know making it worth your time and money honey so take that as you will aries i just feel as if yeah like accept the change for what it is i know it's easier said than uh done but i do I, i'm not lying like king of swords in the back of the deck as well you got all these king cards i really do feel as if this new uh, direction for you aries is taking you somewhere a lot uh just more abundant something that's a lot more in your calling 
uh, Aries, you know, again, you're not going to, it's not going to make sense for a while. You're not going to see uh, why your path is diverting in such a way, but later on you will. So uh, Aries, let's get into your social reading now, darling. All right. Queen of Cups stepping forward to you, Aries, with the Ten of Pentacles. Remember, this is your social reading, platonic or romantic, and then the Emperor card coming in here. So I do feel as if you have a good, like, you know, even with that uh, new moon and cancer card that talked about you and your loved ones are safe, giving you that reassurance, even in this dynamic, Queen of Cups, Emperor card, and Ten of Pentacles is giving me the sense of where... You do have good people around you. What is going on exactly with this one per se, though? Seven of Swords, darling. Seven of Swords. I really want to be surprised if this is an energy, Aries. Uh, two of Wands also being inverted. Um, yeah, it's almost as if, uh, Aries, this energy coming in here. Uh, ooh. Ooh, I don't know if I'm connecting to an Aries that's like married and like considering like divorce or going through a divorce or going connecting to an Aries that has like something um, that they share with a committed person, whether it's romantic or platonic. Again, um, it's almost as if you're getting this message of where it's just like the cycle is just completed with this connection here. Um, and it's like it's time for both of you guys to just like part ways. There's like a, both of you guys are feeling different callings to things and just maybe like, you know, this is a situation where uh, the season has ended for the two of you guys. But, you know, you're still getting like a uh, lighter message in the sense that I don't feel as if this is something all too negative chariot card coming in here. It just feels as if this connection has just pulled the brakes and um, it's going to be a lot freeing up the space for you, Aries, to connect to other things. I know this is scary right now. I know this transition could be really scary. Maybe some of you, uh, Aries, you're not used to the idea or the concept of being alone, but I feel like this is the best thing for you. While this connection was so good to you at one point, um, just imagine what a new connection is going to do for you now that you've grown so much from when you first initially started this connection, Aries. So... That is the tarot message that I have for you, darling. I hope you found some tarot cards that resonate with you in this reading today, Aries. I really am sorry that this is such a heavy reading for y'all. <laughs> Uh, I'm so sorry what it is that y'all are going through, but you know, your path is taking you to somewhere that's just feels a lot better, feels like a lot more of an equal give or take rather than just having it be one sided. So, um, or I feel as one sided as it might have been. So, I love you so much, Aries, and I hope the best for you guys, darling. If you want to book a private to personal reading with me, my website's always linked down below, simply Velka dot com next to my social medias tiktok and instagram also just being simply valka uh but until next time aries i love you so much bye